Hey guys, before I start this video, I've created a Facebook group for job seekers and for uh, students here in Germany. So there's a lot of discussions happening. If you have any questions, if you want to clarify some things, feel free to come and join. The links are in the description, the top two links, one for job seekers, one for students. Let's start today's All right guys, welcome back once again. I'm sitting here with uh, Sid. Sid, first of all, welcome to my channel. Sid is going to be talking about his journey of how he got a job from India all the way to Berlin. What is interesting for you guys is to know uh, what mistakes he made on the way so that you don't have to repeat that. Uh, and you can of course share your experience with how many jobs you applied, which platforms did you use, what kind of CVs did you use, what was your background when you were back in India and all yeah. that stuff. Yeah, usual stuff. So Sid, why don't we start with just your quick introduction about where you come from, your bachelor's you did, yeah. uh, what kind of work you were doing and how long did you work in the past? I'm basically from Delhi okay. and I did my uh, bachelor's in electronics and communication. Okay. from uh, Manipal Institute of Technology and I was working in Mercedes-Benz for like one and a half years and I was working in uh, battery management system so it's uh, quite a new field for the automotive industry only a few companies were working in that area before that I was working in Fiat Chrysler it's a subsidiary of Fiat Chrysler I was working there for two and a half years so my total uh, I think uh, experience would be four years Total experience before coming to Germany was four years. Yeah, total experience before right. Germany. I joined in November, mid of November, yeah. in uh, Berlin, yeah. and it's uh, automotive industry as well. And uh, so I'm working on the same kind of uh, tools and technologies. And even my job role is quite sim as really? what it was in India. Okay, great, man. So basically, like I am still working in battery management system and it's for Mercedes cars. Right. So, <laughs> Which platform did you use to apply for jobs? Okay. It depends on the industry again. Right. But for automotive, there are like uh, monster.com or uh, monster.de, yeah. uh, Stepstone. Then um, you can directly apply to the companies because most of them have their own job openings and so you can directly apply o over there. So that's why I say that you should know your companies where you can apply to and uh, especially in your domain and uh, so whatever work you are doing. And then if you know that, that thing, so you can probably go to their sites, apply, find jobs. Like it's, right. it's general stuff. Right, right. I think just a quick suggestion for you guys also is like, I mean, Google says everything, right? What you can do is like quickly Google top 100 companies of automotive. And then you have the list of companies right in front of you. Open another tab and start Googling this company and go to their career page. Yeah, yeah. Right? I mean, yes. How, yes, it is a time consuming. Things are not going to come to you easy. Yeah. Right? <laughs> you need a lot of patience in this whole process. And you need a lot of, uh, like, there will be a lot of rejections. Oh, yeah. So you should never give up hope. Right, so, right. I Just mean, be that's, mentally prepared, right? Be mentally prepared. I mean, most of the people have been trying for two years. That's and so I mean, for me, I was quite lucky. Uh, it yeah, took we, me. Uh, we had Bala last uh, last video. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he was applying for two years. He was also an engineering guy. If you haven't seen that video, I'm going to link that in the video uh, in the description for you guys to watch. How many jobs did you apply? Oh. Oh, uh, you I, got the answers <laughs> right there. Okay. I have no idea. Actually, I don't. I can't remember like how many. That means. You went like ape shit yeah. on that, yeah? Yeah. 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 Okay. So LinkedIn jobs, Monster D and Stepstone. So maybe almost every day three jobs or something similar. And uh, you have to keep on trying. I mean that's the best way to get a job. And don't like you'll get rejection mails or you won't even get a mail back. Yeah. <laughs> and basically but you don't have to lose hope that's like the, you you should keep trying right and uh, if you feel that you have something in uh, back especially in india so you can continue your job it's not like that is uh, hampered anyway but uh, i think uh, if you want to come to germany or any other country you need to keep on applying right. you should never give up hope because right. there will be rejections obviously like I, I think I have applied to most of the top companies and it's like thousand or maybe more people applying for the one job yeah. and so they can't accept even your CV, they won't even open your CV, it's possible and so that's where I mean one thing is that your CV should be really amazing, even your cover letter. So 
definitely uh, find someone in Germany uh, who was successful and maybe then um, get his CV right. and his cover letters yeah. for or something similar right. or you can even have a paid services you can help <laughs> find him for that <laughs> yeah I mean yeah. We, we get it like Europeanized yeah. we, we make a German yeah. Yeah. Uh, version of it and yeah. you know tabular form and all that yeah. do you have like even a hint of idea what was the reason or what could be the reason Oh, okay. Um, so one thing is German language. So uh, I have no uh, German language degree till now. Like uh, there's A1, A2 courses that you can do, but uh, I don't have anything right now. So you, when you applied for a job, you didn't have no, any knowledge nothing, of German? Nothing. Even today, like I don't know A1. Uh, so okay. I don't know any German basically. And uh, you can, um, I think that's one of the reasons that uh, most of the companies require B1. The other is, I guess, uh, your master's degree. Okay. So uh, some of the companies are like uh, focused on you should be having a master's degree. And they don't mention that explicitly on the job portal or something, but Mercedes and companies like Porsche, Audi. So they have uh, more people who have a master's degree rather than just a bachelor's degree. Right, and you're from ba you're bachelor's from I India. Just a bachelor's degree right now, okay. and uh, that also from India. So maybe if you have from Germany, it's even better. But uh, for me, it's like just a, ma a ba bachelor's degree from India. So uh, right. it's I'm not sure, like because there's no uh, kind of it's a common rejection way that you get that we have too many applications for the position. So they don't mention the reason as well. Exactly, uh, yeah. I, I agree to you, yeah. One more reason could be the CV. You should always have a great CV and a cover letter. That's so important. And I mean, that's your selling point. Yeah. And if a person has to take you out of thousand people, so he needs to know you as good as possible and right. in a re really short and a beautiful format. That's so true. They have such a less time to, to see, yeah. you know, to yeah. filter out. They're, they're looking at so many CVs yeah. in literally less than an hour. Yeah, I think probably more than a thousand CVs they receive for one position and they have to, I think, fill that in 10 days. They, you have oh, to yeah. send out. Yeah. So you can just imagine the kind of workload that they would be having and uh, mostly it's just, just filter out everything, which is like not really good or right, right. maybe even I think it would be helpful like what you are saying that you have it in German your CV and that would be helpful really because right right uh, see one thing after working with so many potential people who want to come here and apply for a job here HR uses AI system artificial intelligence okay um, this whole game is all about keywords what you use in it the job description yeah. which was put out on the uh, job portal you have to use exact same words yeah. from the job description which was on the website yeah. into your yeah. cover letters yeah. Yeah. then the computer will recognize okay the, yeah. because that's how AI works right and um, I think your point is really valid because for um, companies like us uh, they don't search for um, tools or technologies but just the domain like um, so you need to have uh, that specific set of words that they have written on the job portal and then maybe before applying uh, create a new CV for just that position exactly and that's such a smart idea yeah just one recommendation for you guys see not all job requires you to send them a German CV okay if if your German language if your level of talking or your level of proficiency is at A1 and you you got a professional service from somebody who who made your CV completely like a native speaker would understand he makes a call to you and you're like ah, bah, you become burfi then yeah, yeah. you know <laughs> you don't want that <laughs> so only if a only if a company uh, or the job requires you to speak German language then try to make it German CV otherwise send out a German English CV yeah. and then put out your German proficiency on it. So another question which a lot of people have is in automotive industry which is that area which is booming right now because you know the level of competition yeah. what this country has especially with automotive yeah. where they are pioneers yeah. so yeah can you spread some light on that I would say that right now it's uh, two domains one is uh, your electric cars so it's like a recent trend where 
every major automotive company is moving towards a full electric vehicle right. and so they need people who are working in that area and then the second is your uh, driverless cars or self driving cars and maybe advanced driver systems um, so that's another good area where you can probably find a lot of jobs right now i i guess the domain is quite big and then you have uh, different kinds of jobs in that so like in an electric vehicle you can have uh, development of the vehicle control units you can have development of your battery management system or working on charging systems so this this is like a couple of things that is needed right now as well and uh, so if you have knowledge of this area it's like uh, right now it's trendy and then in advanced driverless you can have say any driving system like uh, automotive or semi automotive as well yeah. so uh, basically you are working in uh, cars industry or even trucks so there are things that you can do in both of them and uh, it's just about uh, i think how you can help the driver to have less control and then uh, the car itself has more control so that there is uh, less dependency on the people who are driving right. so in that also you have a lot of uh, areas uh, so you have image processing video processing for the cameras and the sensors and then uh, in general you have your driving systems uh, your control strategies so you can be working in uh, a lot of different fields uh, you can be using a lot of different tools uh, i can say like you can be working in uh, machine learning or something yeah. like uh, your neural networks development and you can even be working on simple things like image processing video processing so it depends on the job again and but these are like quite trendy right now i want to go over the questions you were asked during your interview for this job yeah. what you're doing here how many rounds were there what kind of questions were asked okay. in terms of technical yeah. until you reached that stage where you were like okay now i've got selected in this yeah. company yeah. you always start with your hr round so that um, that's your first level your cv and your but you uh, applied just like a regular yeah. you applied and you left i applied for like several jobs and you get this was one of those jobs it's one of the jobs okay. and uh, you get the hr's response that we need to set up a face to face interview or a telephonic so for me it, the first round was a telephonic and uh, it was technical uh, but not in depth i would say it was i think just the beginners level uh, where where they are just asking of your uh, day to day activities right. they want to inquire about what you are doing uh, in india and uh, what's your job responsibility basically and um, i guess at that time if you know the job really well for which you have applied you can bring in terms uh, which i'm sure that they'll catch on mm -hmm. and then for sure in the next rounds or in that round itself they'll ask you okay what do you mean by this okay. so that see it's all about which direction you can take the interview yeah. because if you know some stuff and if you are really confident on that so what you can do is then throw out terms and for sure they'll catch on and they'll try to okay we could ask him what is he doing in this area so for me i also tried that and it actually worked really well so this was all about first round but yeah. what happened on second round so this was like around one hour they'll interview you for your basic knowledge and all your day to day activities they'll uh, probably ask you the process and uh, after that you move on to your face to face round so which is a little more in depth face to face means like on uh, skype on, on <laughs> okay i'm like uh, they use either skype or something similar uh so you'll be in front of a group of panelists i, I would say that two or three people are interviewing you it's not just a, one single person and then they'll uh go into more detail about your cv about the job that they are offering and uh, how you can fit in so again at that time you need to be confident and you need to uh, know your uh, uh, things that they want i mean you i'm sure right now that if you have applied for a job uh you know that what they would be asking or yeah. at least have some knowledge about what they can ask right right and uh, so you should be really prepared for that i would say like that usually runs around 2 and 1/2 hours but uh, wow. 
That's like a lot. Yeah, Two that's... hours of straight. Straight. And because what? it's not just a single person. You have to answer another person who might be from the management position and in terms of uh, discussing about how you would fit in. Um, and even they actually explain about the job role a lot. So I would not say that I was interviewed for two hours straight, but uh, I would say that maybe one hour, one hour, fifteen minutes, and the forty-five minutes they took to explain their job as well. Okay. So it's a conversation. It's not an interview as such. People are watching with a lot of hopes here, right? Yeah. They want to sit here. Yeah. Okay, where you are sitting. So what mistakes you made on the way, which you don't want them to make? Okay, the first thing would be to uh, learn German for sure. because um, even in your day to day life uh, you need to know the german language um, i mean in berlin in munich it's not uh, that use uh, useful to uh, for you to work i mean but i would still say that you learn it uh, the second would be uh, when you are applying for the job you should be sure of uh, the role that they would be offering so i have seen people actually screw up uh, there because they were not aware of the position they were not aware of the job responsibility they did not even check out the entire job description and it's really necessary for you to do that because uh, a person is spending a lot of time interviewing you yeah. you should spend enough time to understand what they want from you and it's something that i would say is uh, necessary for i mean all the domains just not automotive or exactly. don't apply 20 jobs in a day then you're losing out of quality then yeah, yeah. try to apply sit down three times a week okay try to apply three jobs in one day two jobs in one day one job in one day but properly properly yeah right like give yourself enough time it is about your career right yeah. i mean again there are people who don't do, want to do all these things um but they want to come in this far you know yeah, because i mean it's not just about uh, the job uh, it's the country itself because uh, i mean for automotive engineers if you are in germany it's the best place because I you have it. the i totally companies. understand man and i mean like that's a motivation i would say so use that motivation exactly but don't lose out on because you have to be sure of what you are applying to yeah. you need to modify your cv that's like that's the number one thing you they won't open your cv itself i i, I have seen that happening that's level 1 we are talking that's here. level 1 and so i mean these two things are for sure that you need to uh, see you need to research right. you need to know the company you need to know in which areas they are working and if you would be able to fit in probably you you can also help like yeah. in some i know you have a facebook page for job seekers so yeah. probably you can just search over there and i want to talk about the uh, salary negotiation part right uh, did you get into the negotiation or what they offered you just took it so what they offered i just took it uh, because <laughs> <laughs> no chance no like chance. what if i lose this uh yeah actually because it was a good fit for me and uh, i mean i just have 4 years of experience so i wasn't expecting that much as well yeah. and uh, I mean I have seen people who have 7 8 years who are getting almost the same as me so anyway Absolutely. it's it's like yeah. uh, for me it was okay it's fine or uh, thanks a lot sid uh, for coming on my channel and sharing your knowledge probably if you guys have question you know that you can write in my email id his experience said of course he didn't come here on language it is highly advisable to do your language uh, just to have more options when you apply for jobs if you clear that difficulty level of language while you're in the process back in india i know you will have your family you will have other commitments in life how important is this thing then you have to measure that if you want so much you got to work so much yeah true right yeah. Uh, on that note i would like to say goodbye and uh, yeah see you guys next time bye bye